welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing well. So it's been um, a long time since I've filmed a video, um, but I am back now and I am ready to start uploading consistently again. I kind of went through like a roller coaster um, in the past couple of months and um, I'm finally feeling myself again and I'm ready to get back into it. So I thought it would be appropriate to make my first video back something that I'm actually personally going through right now, which is um, just updating my fall wardrobe with little to basically no budget. So I'm personally someone that loves shopping smart. It's very rare that I will actually buy something full price. I just like really prefer to save my money on clothes that I wear a couple times and like spend it elsewhere, you know, on traveling or like saving. So here are my top 10 tips on how to update your wardrobe to be um, trendy and cool without um, breaking your bank. So first of all, just a disclosure, this video is sponsored by ShopTiger and actually ShopTiger is something that I've been using for at least a couple of years now. So although it's sponsored, I'm very excited to be working with them because it's something that I do love to use. So basically, for those of you who don't know what ShopTiger is, it's an extension that you could add to your web browser that looks like this. And what it does is it allows you to save items that you might be interested in, but that are too expensive for you at the moment. This jacket is um, definitely way too expensive for me right now. It's $252, and as much as I do love investing in jackets because I live somewhere cold, I would still like this to be a little bit cheaper when I buy it. So you can choose your color, your size, and notify when any price change, and then I will add it to my jackets list. I like to organize mine into specific wish lists, so it's just super easy to organize everything that you want into one place and you will get a notification either by email or um, a notification that looks like this pop-up here. I have five new notifications. So you get notifications when you could use a code, when something goes on sale, or when something is low in stock, so maybe you, you know, even though it didn't go on sale, you might still want to buy it. So it's just super, super useful and helpful. And also another thing that's cool is that you can share your wish list with friends. You can share it on Facebook or Twitter. And Christmas is coming up soon, so you might want to just, you know, send that over to your mom, give her a little bit of hints of what you want. There actually is an app. All you have to do is sign into your account. It looks exactly like the desktop version. And to save something to your account, you could just press the little um, share button on your Safari and the Shop Tiger button will pop up and you can just add something to your list there as well. It saves a lot of time, a lot of money, and the best part is that it's free. So if ever you're interested in downloading the extension for yourself or the app, I will leave the link down below. So moving on, another thing that's super easy to use and that lets you save money is to Google coupon codes. All the coupon codes available are not always on the website while you're shopping. Every single time I shop, I will always Google a coupon code for the specific website that I'm on. And usually I'll get like a, cup, a list of a couple that I could try out and it only takes maybe like five minutes of my time to try a bunch out. And even if you manage to save like free shipping or like five to 10%, you know, with all of the shopping that I do online and maybe that you guys do as well, it all adds up and it lets you save a whole lot of money. So another um, useful tip is if there is a brand that you really love and that you find yourself shopping on their website often, you should definitely follow them on social media. So yeah, I like to follow um, the brands that I love, not only because they give a lot of good outfit inspiration, like a lot of their pictures and their posts are about like outfits, wearing their clothes and showcasing their items. So it's super good to go to for inspiration, but also, um, especially with Instagram stories, they will post like a discount code just for that specific day. So you will only get that discount code if you follow them and you happen to read their stories on that day. So you do get exclusive discounts that you wouldn't get like on their website or um, on Google, which is really cool. And another trick is to, which is my tip number four, is to also subscribe to their newsletters. And I know this seems obvious and I know that it's annoying to get like spammed by your favorite brands, but with Gmail, what I love about it is that it like classifies your emails into like your primary, your social, and your promotions. So what I like to do is before checking out, let's say I Google coupon codes, I follow them on social media, I can't find some anywhere. My last thing that I will do is I will go um, on my Gmail and I will literally just search for the brand 
that I'm looking for in my promotions and I will find more discount codes from that brand in my promotions. So once again, just a really easy like search to find a coupon code that is literally you know, it could be anything from like 5%, but sometimes it's like 50% off and you literally could have missed your chance. So yeah, sorry, I get really excited about <laughs> saving my money. So yeah, definitely something you should do. And another one that I think is obvious, but some people don't seem to know about is if you're a student, you should definitely take advantage of uni days. So all you have to do is make an account using your school email and they'll send you like a confirmation link and then you confirm and then you could use a bunch of like exclusive student discounts on websites that you probably shop at. I personally always use a uni days uh, coupon code when I shop on ASOS, I get 10% off. And um, some other cool promotions that I just checked before that are also going on um, is like 15% off Public Desire, 30% off Misguided, 55% off Glasses USA. So those are all discounts that are definitely worth using. All right, so my tip number six would be, um, is more aimed at people like me that, you know, as much as they love saving money when they're buying clothes, I kind of like to splurge a little bit more when it comes to my accessories. I like to get, um, you know, some statement pieces and invest a little bit more in like designer items and stuff. Almost all of my items that are like designer or that are a bit more expensive, I actually bought, you know, secondhand. And so I highly recommend checking out like Depop, Grailed, um, even like Poshmark or eBay. Um, my number one tip though would be to always like check the information of the seller. Make sure that they have, you know, good reviews, a high score. I recommend just sticking to people with 90% or over scores and they seem to be selling a lot of like authentic designer pieces. So yeah, just wanted to add that in there. And then my next tips are kind of steering away from shopping online and like more in person. Um, tips. So my first tip for this, obviously, my tip number seven would be to try thrift shopping. So a lot of you know that I love thrifting. Probably a lot of you subscribe to me for my thrifting videos. I would say probably 65% of my wardrobe is thrifted. And I just want to throw this out there because I want to just showcase how affordable it is compared to like fast fashion or anything like that. Um, I literally, my last thrift trip, I got five shirts and a denim skirt for $35. So you definitely save a lot of money. And not only do you save money, but you get trendy and unique pieces that nobody else will have. And you're also shopping, you know, sustainably and it's very environmentally friendly. You can also subscribe to their newsletters. Like I'm subscribed to the Salvation Army and I actually got a notification today telling me that, um, they have a 50% off sale going on. So not only was it cheap to begin with, now everything is 50% off. So that's another way to save more money. And also I know that most Salvation Armies, if you donate a bag of clothes, you get $10 off a $25 or more purchase. So my tip number eight, I think I'm at, is to create a mood board. So this sounds kind of like, how can you save money doing this? But I spend a lot of time on Pinterest, kind of like making mood boards about, you know, the kind of style that I'm going for, like items I've been loving or like trendy pieces. And basically I will use that as inspiration when I'm shopping. So one of the ways that I would waste the most money shopping is like impulse purchases. I would go to the store and like buy something impulsively or like, you know, it's something that I didn't really need to add to my wardrobe. Like I would go and be like, oh, this turtleneck's cute and add it to like my collection of 50 turtlenecks. Like, so I'm rambling. My point is if you make a mood board, you could kind of get a sense of like things that you're really liking at the moment and that you don't have in your wardrobe and that you could add. So that's what I've been doing um, to kind of avoid the whole impulse purchase thing. Like even when I shop online, I will search specifically for those items. So like examples of things that are currently on my list of things that I want to buy for the fall is um, a plaid skirt, um, a like snake, snake print blouse and also like the perfect pair of like jeans that have a bit of a wider leg and are like distressed at the bottom. Those are three things I've noticed I've been like drawn to a lot. So they're definitely things that I took the time to kind of think about. I know that I will be getting and that I am willing to spend my money on. I don't know if that makes sense, but hopefully you get what I mean. Just try to avoid like impulse purchases altogether. Okay, and my tip number nine is kind of a similar 
um, tip, but it's even better because it doesn't like consist of spending money. And it's basically something that I like to do is I have an, um, is on Instagram. I'm sure you guys all know of like that save button. It literally helps me so much. I have an album or like a collection that's specifically of outfits where I have a similar item. So when I'm scrolling on Instagram, I will see someone with like, you know, let's say a denim jacket, something that probably everybody has, but in a way that I've never seen it worn or in a way that I find nice or inspiring. So I will save that to my outfits collection and then when I'm like running late or I have no outfit inspiration and I need like an idea really fast I will go to that specific album and I get so much outfit inspiration and they're all things that I can recreate because I actually have those items in my wardrobe so in a way it's like you're not shopping but you're kind of using the pieces that you already have in your wardrobe and you're wearing them in ways you didn't wear before and you're still creating new outfits so that's something that still updates your fall wardrobe but um, without spending money at all. I don't know, that's per personally like the thing that helps me the most because I do have a lot of clothes and sometimes you kind of forget about the pieces that you have and you're constantly buying new things and like disregarding your old ones. But this is a way to just kind of use what you have and use it well and still have really cool outfits without spending a bunch of money. And now my last tip is also something that um, it's pretty straightforward, but it really, really helps me. And it's whenever I go shopping and you know, you're in that like place of like, do I buy this or do I not? And you're like really unsure. And most of the time you're just like, whatever, I'll buy it. And if I don't wear it, I'll return it. And that never happens. So my tip to you is to always just send pictures to your friends. Like I have like three go-to friends where every time I'm shopping and I'm either like trying something on or I want to buy something online, but I'm like not 100% sure. I always like to send it to them to get their opinion. And they really just kind of like help me get a sense of like, do I really need this or not? which has, of course, saved me from buying things I don't need. All right, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I know that it was long, but I really wanted it to be as helpful as possible. Like, like I said, these are things that I do myself to help save money. And yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye, love you guys.